If we pick a couple of larger numbers, like say 23 plus 27, we know we should get 50 out. If we do the arithmetic in binary, it will look a little different. So there's 23 in binary. 27 is, and we'll just add these together one bit at a time. One plus one is zero, carry a one. One plus one plus one is one, carry a one. One plus one is 10. One plus zero plus one is 10. One plus one plus one is 11. So we get this for hopefully 50. And if we scroll down, we'll see that yes, this is indeed 50 in decimal. In octal, those same two numbers are 27 for 23 and 33 for 27. So 7 plus 3, remember in octal I can't go past 8, so as soon as I add 7 plus 1 I get to 8 or 10 and then I have to carry something. So I actually have 12 here, so I'll write down the 2 and carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is still 6 because 6 is less than 8, so I'll write down the 6. And if I go forward and check, I do get 62 on my number line as well. In hexadecimal, it's the same thing. So I have 17 for 23 and 1B for 27. So now this is going to be a little more complicated. Maybe you've forgotten what 7 plus B is. If we go back, so B is 11. Okay, so if I'm doing this in decimal, I've got 11 plus 7 is 18. What is 18 now in hexadecimal? So I'm working in groups of 16, so I've got a 16 plus 2 also gives me 18. So I will write this as 12 instead, so I've got 16 plus 2. And then I've got 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. I get 32. And if I scroll down, yes, I see 32 is my hexadecimal number.